Good afternoon Year 4. Our arithmetic this week is focusing on times in by 10 and 100. So to achieve goal, which is Year 4 National Standard, we need to be able to times by 10 and 100. But we have platinum questions which are moving into using decimals as well. So the first thing I want you to consider, what does place value mean? So have a little think to yourself and try and write a definition in your book. What do you think this word means? Okay then, so place value is the value of each digit in a number. For example, the 5 in 350 represents 5 tens or 50. But then the 5 in 5006 represents 5 thousands. It's important that children understand that whilst a digit can be the same, its value depends on where it is in the number. So having a look at our place value grid then and talking about the relationship between each column, we know that as we move one place to the right, we are dividing the digits by 10. Okay, so a number, if we had a three in our thousands column and we moved it into the hundreds column, it would become 300 because we have divided it by 10. Okay, and that is moving to the right on our place value grid. So what would happen if we move to the left? Well, hopefully you have remembered that if we move to the left, we do the inverse of dividing by 10, the opposite. We are timesing by 10. So every time we move our digits three to the left, we are timesing it by 10. We are making it 10 times bigger. Okay then, so Let's have some practice with our questions. We have 45 times by 10. So we have four in our tens column and five in our ones column. And we are making the number 10 times bigger. So remembering our trick that we're moving one place to the right because each column is 10 times bigger than the next. And as a reminder, we have one zero and that tells us we're moving one place to the, le to the left. So we'd move our four using our arrows into the hundreds column and we'd move our one our five ones into the tens column and then remembering that we would need a placeholder so our number doesn't fall down so our answer then would be 450 Okay then, so let's have a practice by times in by a hundred. In fact, we'll do our decimal number. So we have 3.2 and this time we are times in by a hundred. So we know we need to move two columns to the left this time. So our three, one, two moves into our hundreds column. Our two then would move into our tens column. And remembering we need a placeholder to hold our number up so it doesn't fall below the decimal point. So our answer is 320. Okay, then your practice today, uh, you have silver, gold and platinum questions to have a little go at. And when you finish, the answers are on the next page to mark them. And there are your answers.